Hey everybody, how you doing? Tom Willard here. Going to do a follow-up to my video from last week for last week's trading. So if you want to watch it, uh, check it out. It was from, uh, I believe, let's see, April um, 3rd. Today is Sunday, April 12th. Um, and I'm doing a follow-up on the two stocks I mentioned uh, for last week. Um, and so let's take a look at them. First up, Chesapeake. I tweeted about this also during the week. Um, I was mentioning this on the other video as a long idea because of the extension down here and the um, possibility of a uh, dead cut bounce at a major support area here um, that it took out down in 2012. Okay, so we got our bounce. Here's the daily chart um, leading up to last week. You pick out the last five. This is a daily chart. So we pick out the last five days. This is what I was looking at right here. And again, I encourage you to watch that video if you uh, haven't yet. And we're looking for a move above these highs as a possible day trade and a swing trade. Well, it did gap up on uh, Monday, and it provided a day, a day trading opportunity that I talked about. Okay, and now it's pulled back here a little bit. So let's talk about the day trading opportunity first. Let's go to the five-minute chart. And let's back it up. There it is right there. Talked about it. I can't remember exactly when I tweeted. It was right around this time. I said watch it for a breakout over the high of the day. You can see it's a flag pattern here. Um, you've got uh, uh, basically your flagpole and then this, this banner. Okay, higher lows with about equal highs here around 1490. And here's the nice tight breakout. If you look here on the five minute chart, you got a breakout over 1490 with a stop under 1487, a four cent stop. Okay, and of course, as I talked about on the, um, on the daily chart, uh, nothing but room here above 1488. And it was just above that on the breakout. So it's got room to go to about 16. Um, it hit on the five minute chart. It produced a nice move here. It moved up total uh, at, the, at the absolute high for this day, 1525. So about a 35 cent move, 30 to 35 cent move off about a four cent stop. Not too bad. Now that's assuming that you get the high of the day, which is um, you know pretty much not existent. You rarely get out right at the high of the day. But if you use uh, management techniques, which I talk about in some of my other videos, um, you can maximize your profits here. Trail stopping. Uh, you can step up to a 15-minute chart here as well. You can see how the 15-minute chart really smoothed it out. This is that 4-6 day where it came up here. Um, got extended. Gave me one little pivot. Popped up another little pivot. So even holding to the end of the day, got you around 15-20-ish. So that's the day trade. Okay. Since then, there hasn't been a whole lot going on. Now, from a swing trading perspective, okay, you could have bought it on the open on that on that Monday. Okay, looking for a move up here, stopping under this green bar. However, now it's looking really good for this coming week as a possible swing. It's pulling back. It's come up. It's kind of, you know, ebbing and flowing. Okay, float up, ebbing back here, pulling back. I like what I'm seeing. Watching this for a break. I like the fact that it dipped below the low here on the 60. A little peekaboo break down. Okay, if it can't follow through to the downside tomorrow, uh, early next week. And again, volumes have been pretty late, but as earnings season starts to pick up here, things will start getting a little bit more exciting. Um, and typically I trade a lot more heavier, stay more focused and trade a lot more heavier during earnings season times just because there's typically more opportunity. So this is one where it broke below, see if it follows through. If it can't follow through, watch for the setup, okay? Uh, your trade, your swing pattern setup to the long side. I'm still bullish on this thing on the long side. Now, Skyworks, I was talking about how it was really extended up here. And um, the other thing I want to add to this point is that, you know, be, when these things get extended, it does not mean you're going to short it. Or I'm going to short it. Okay, I guess I can only talk about myself. It does not mean to me that I'm going to short it. What it does mean to me is I'm sure, as I can tell you 100%, with 100% certainty, I'm not buying this as a swing trade. Okay, I, I would suggest that if you have this as a long position in, in one of your longer term accounts, that you scale some profits out. I think it's time. OK, um, I think that you, you take some profits here if you're really bullish on the name and the overall long term fundamentals and you're a real long term investor. Fine. Hold some. But even if you're a longer term investor, my suggestion, OK, what I would do uh, and, and I haven't swing traded this through this area, this area here, OK, is I would be <laughs> taking some profits up here. That's one thing I can certainly tell you I would do. What I can't certainly tell you is I would short it unless I get my setup. So let's take a look at what transpired this week. OK, going into the last five days, take out the last five days. Okay, that's what we were looking at going into my vi or doing my video uh, last Friday, the Friday before last. Okay, so we, we gap down here then on Monday, right? If we go the next day, okay, into this big void area here to the left. So let's go to the 60 and we can kind of take a peek. So we're gapped right here. See it? Gap right down here into this, this area where it could really move down. But what did it do? Went straight up. 
and I tweeted about this as well. So look, market's too strong off this gap down. I would not be shorting this today. See what happens. And when I talked in the original video, I talked about how at this point here, what I would rather see it do is come back up and take out at least the high of this bar, if not all the way up to this pivot, or even slightly above this high. And then I'd be just itching to short it with the right setup. Okay? Would you like to see this capitulate to volume um, on the new high, etc.? Uh, there's a number of other things. And again, I talk about these in some of the other um, the technical analysis videos. So I encourage you to watch those if you haven't had a chance yet. Um, so it, it gap down, came up. Okay, we took no action on Monday. Okay, the next day it opened flat, ripped higher. And usually when, the, when these things get these big rips here early, I tend to avoid them. Okay, when they move and they're that volatile. You're not getting, and the, the main reason is this. Okay, and it, it's almost like pause, the, see if you can get the right answer. Pause the video right here. Why would that be? Okay. <clears throat> Welcome back. If you pause the video, the answer to the question is very simple: reward to risk. When you get this kind of whip, right? Um, anything on the smaller time frames, it's unreliable with regards to whether those pivots or those candles are going to help or hurt, or hold, right? You're placing your entry and your stop based off of candlesticks, and the candlesticks are all over the place. What does that tell you about the the the, the highs and lows of those candlesticks, right? That they're not really that significant, okay? Um, and, and I like, you know, discipline and control in my candlesticks. And eventually, you know, the personality of the stock will change. You see the kinds of tight, tighten up, tightens up here over time. And that doesn't always happen. just depends on the stock and the day. You just got to watch for it. You got to know what you're looking for, okay? So no action, no action, no action. So let's come back to this week, okay? Because all we care about is the future, right? Can't make money on stuff that already happened, okay? You can learn from it. Now what's happened here? Well, it took out the high, and it also is approaching its pivot. Okay, so daddy's getting really excited and watching this thing closely, okay? But we do not, I repeat, do not just haphazardly jump in, okay, because you saw this video. In fact, you shouldn't be trading at all with any money if you have no no experience, okay? Paper trade it, hypothetical trade it, okay? Say, okay, well, like Tom said, if this thing goes above, let's say, um, $100.59, it's 101, I'm going to try short it hypothetically there. And I'll put my stop in at about 100 and say 104, give it a dollar, a dollar 50 a room above here, okay? And let's just see what happens. Okay, do use that as a hypothetical trade if it gets up there. Who knows? It may just gap down and start running. Okay, that's another thing. So what am I looking for this next week, starting tomorrow, is a gap down. Let's go to the 15-minute chart here. It clears it up a little bit. The last five days, if it can, if it can breach this 98.75 area here, okay, maybe it gaps down, maybe it opens flat, and starts to collapse. Okay, then I'd look to possibly get short on a swing basis, okay, overnight basis, at least as a day trade. Oops, sorry, 550-minute charts what I want. Um, at least as a uh, day trading opportunity, okay. But if we get a nice setup there and, it, and it's showing weakness and the market looks weak and the, the, the tech is looking weak, okay, and related stocks, the Skyworks is look, are looking weak, um, that's when I would pull the trigger here and watch it short, at least as a, as a day trade, if not a swinger, because on the swing side of things, again, your, your main focus is the daily chart. What do you got here? You got a five-day move up, right, to a previous pivot high where there's resistance. There's two, two resistance areas here. Um, it's getting it's a lot more handsome than it was five days ago with regards to shorting, okay? I like it much better now than it was here, okay? But again, don't take action unless you get your pattern. If you don't even know what that is, then don't you shouldn't be trading at all, okay? Know what your edge is. Okay, this is really, these videos here, these last two, I'm doing more as a scanning service based off of my scans and ideas, and so I just want to follow up on these two. And so Chesapeake had an opportunity to make money day trading-wise. Swing trade, if you took it last week, you're still in it. Okay, you're looking fine. It's actually setting up for another possible swing trade on the long side. Okay, Skyworks here didn't materialize as a day trader on the short side anyway for me. Okay, on the short side now going into next week, Okay, the week of April 13th, 2015, I'm looking at this as a short opportunity both on a swing perspective and from a day trading perspective. All right, hope you found this video useful. I'll see you in another video very soon. Have a great week.